Hey there folks, got a pair of PU tier matches. For those of you who don't know what PU is, PU is the tier below NU. It's not officially supported on the simulators, although you can challenge people directly to PU matches on Pokemon Showdown. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna lead off with my Laron, as he leads off with uh, Execute. I gotta say, I love Laron as a Pokemon um, in PU. It's just really cool, as you're gonna see in a second. My opponent, by the way, is Infinite Cosmos. We met through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. My opponent switches out into Mantine as I go for a Recoilless Head Smash. Um, Laron has amazing attack, and my Laron is actually, uh, it's not purely an attacking set. It's got, um, it, it's not banded or anything, as you saw, it has Life Orb. Uh, the basis of the set is that I set up Stealth Rock first turn, uh, use uh, Autotomize to uh, double my speed, and then I can actually sweep. Anyway, my opponent's just going to go ahead and go for a Volt Switch. My Fraggle, my Zuelus, isn't going to care at all uh, about the... Uh, I guess he's actually using Electro Ball, not Volt Switch. My bad. Now he uses Volt Switch. Um, Electro Ball is really... I, there's a lot of speedy Pokemon, even in PU, so it's not really that nice. Anyway, seeing that my opponent doesn't have any... Uh, steel types. I go for the most powerful outrage in the game. I'm not banded, I'm Eviolite, but still, uh, most powerful outrage in the game. My opponent's Leaveny is going to go for an X Scissor. Unfortunately, since I'm locked in, I'm going to have to take that. I go for a second outrage, uh, but it misses. Now, here's the crazy thing. I actually could have switched out, I could have gone for another move, but at that range of health, considering how slow Zuelus is, it really just it was time for it to die. I go back out into Maggie Thatcher, the Iron Lady. Um, thinking I can take a Leaf Blade, not 100% sure. I can't. That was rather sad, actually. Gonna go now out into my Scarfed Wailord, nicknamed Starbuck. That's the same nickname that I gave to my Whalmer on my Little Cup team. Gonna go for the Ice Beam. It's not gonna KO, but my opponent... I'm not sure why my opponent went for the Sword Stance, but it's going to end up costing... Oh, I think my opponent was like, yeah, leave any Sweep is just lame. Um, so... He sacrifices Leaveny, um, to be fair and sporting, I guess that's nice. Now it is going to come Chimeco, going to call uh, Starbuck back, going to go out into Rovio, my, um, my Natu. Uh, this is, it's running uh, Magic Bounce. The idea is to bounce, uh, to, because I can't really afford a, there aren't any good spinners in PU. There aren't really any good spinners in NU either. Anyway, I was hoping my opponent didn't have a Shadow Ball. But it does, so gonna go for the U-turn here just to get off a little bit of damage. Uh, the nice thing about Rovio in, or oh, sorry, the nice thing about Natu in NU is that um, it's so slow compared to other Pokemon that you really can, um, you can basically take hits and then do a slower U-turn to basically take the hit and then uh, go out into another Pokemon. Um, I have Lanoon go for Belly Drum. I really thought that I could take a hit from Chimeco. So I'm now maximum attack. My opponent is going to go for a plus two psychic, and that is going to take out Lanoon. That is rather sad. Uh, so no Lanoon sweep, no belly drum, extreme speed Lanoon sweep. Um, and now I'm down to my last two Pokemon, well, last three Pokemon, but last two uh, last two actual attacking Pokemon. Go for a nasty plot with my Mr. Mime, nicknamed Aramaki. Uh, that's a reference to Ghost in the Shell because of the hair. Um, but anyway, uh, my opponent's just getting off a bunch of... Uh, I'm just really not sure that I'm going to be able to really do much against this Chimeco. I go for a Thunderbolt. It really doesn't do there very much. Uh, my Luckily, my other move is Psy Shock. So I, it occurs to me that, wait, I can actually go for the Psy Shock. can ignore those Calm Mind boosts. It's going to be resisted, but it should still do a decent amount. Now, I'm really glad that that light screen was up. Had that light screen not been up... Um, I would be dead right now, but I go for the... I get a crit, uh, and I'm not sure whether that crit matters. I'll tell you in the annotations whether that crit matters, but I do manage to take him out. Now uh, it's going to come uh, Firo for my opponent. Unfortunately, oh, he's actually going to go for a sky attack. That was a little bit strange, except for, oh yeah, power herb, so... Going to get taken out. Uh, Aramaki is down. I was like, Ooh, sky attack, who goes for sky attack? But it works out for my opponent. Going to go out into Starbuck. Um, going to... My opponent goes for Thief, uh, I guess, that's really strange that he outsped. Um, I'll tell you how that happened in the end. Does Firo get a burden in the green world? I don't know. Anyway, go for a water spout, manage to take him out. That's great, that's fine, that's dandy. Uh, Electrode is going to outspeed, I think actually Firo is just outspeeds Whale, uh, Whale Lord. I know that, um, Electrode does. So, um, had I been locked into anything but... Oh wait, no, he knocked out my choice card. 
so that's how, yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, he knocked off my Choice Scarf, so I am actually able to switch up my moves here. I am not able to take out this Electrode, um, and now my only remaining Pokémon is going to be my Natsu. Natsu has no attack or special attack to speak of, and um, even with Eviolate, which I am running, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to survive more than one of these hits. Uh, and indeed, I can't even survive the one. So uh, I'm going to lose this battle. Um, but I did get him down to his last Pokemon, so that was kind of nice. So great game, Infinite Cosmos. Uh, that was actually really fun. I love PU. So now we're down to our next battle. This is uh, against Nexi's Otaku. Um, he's running an interesting team, too. Uh, PU just really allows you to be extremely creative. So now I'm looking at my opponent is going to be Grass Cannon. Uh, what is this Pokemon? This is a Wormadam lamp type, uh, I guess regular type, I don't know. Anyway, gonna want to switch out. Um, not really anything I can do against this guy, except for set up Stealth Rock. I was actually uh, expecting my opponent to set up Stealth Rock with Wormadam. I actually had to uh, look up what does Wormadam do, and there really aren't many analyses for Wormadam because it's not really used in NU either. If it was used in NU, then it wouldn't be in PU. So anyway, go for a light screen. Um, I'm not sure why my opponent sent out Star U, but I'm thinking probably to go for the Ice Beam. So I go out into Starbuck, predicting the Ice Beam. My opponent actually goes for Cosmic Power. With a Violet, that means that this thing can be pretty darn bulky. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna be a little bit scared about that. I go for the Hidden Power Grass, um, and it's gonna do maybe three hit KO range, but probably more like four hit KO range. I can't really tell. Uh, gonna go for another Hidden Power Grass. Uh, luckily I resist that, um, the Hydro Pump. Yeah, so it looks like it's gonna be a 3-hit KO, except for he's got the Recover, so really this is just gonna be a matter of stalling each other out, unless I switch out, which I think I'm gonna do this next turn. I'm gonna switch out, gonna go out into Fraggle, uh, because I'm thinking my opponent probably doesn't have the Ice Beam, um, and here, uh, I'm just gonna go, I I'm not sure what I'm gonna go for here. I don't think I go for the Outrage. Um, I go for the Fire Fang, actually, predicting the switch out into Grass Cannon. Uh, so, 4x effective, uh, boosted by Hustle. No way that's not gonna KO, unless, you know, of course he had, um, uh, light, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Focus Sash. But now, now I'm not gonna wanna take a Fighting-type move. Gonna go out into Aramaki. Um, he actually goes for the Payback, predicting that. So, great prediction on my opponent's part. Aramaki takes that hit, but doesn't take it well. I think I'm just going to go for the Psy Shock here. I'm actually being outpredicted quite well. Um, so now it is Behem, which I gotta say, based on this battle, I I got a pretty... Um, I gotta respect the Behem. Uh, not Behem, I'm sorry. It's Behem. Uh, the, underdog, the underdog bros will correct me if I say it wrong, said it wrong again. My opponent's going to go for a Rock Slide. Uh, going to take out Aramaki. Uh, that is what it is. Oh well. Um, so now out for me is going to be Maggie Thatcher, the Iron, uh, the Iron Lady, and I'm hoping to be able to wall this guy, I'm hoping he doesn't carry Focus Blast, go for the Autotomize, I am now super fast, my opponent's going to go for the Recover, gonna get back to basically full health, I think actually, well, really close to full health after Leftovers, but I am going to, well, I'm gonna be able to outspeed now anyone on this team, I go for the Head Smash, um, really powerful attack, even on a Laron, and... I managed to take him out. No crit, no anything. God, I love this Pokemon. Now it is going to be Stunfisk. I do carry the Earthquake, but it's non-stab, and so I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to take out a Stunfisk. Uh, it turns out I can't, and now I'm going to get revenge killed by an Earth Power that is going to take me out, considering I am 4x weak to it. So, really, Maggie Th uh, I, uh, Laron is a great Pokemon to have. Um, and I, Rock's the Head Smash is amazing, but it just doesn't have the power with non-stab moves. So anyway, my opponent's going to switch out back into, um, back into, uh, whatchamacallit, Staryu. Going to go for a Water Spout. It's actually going to KO. Uh, I got a crit, but you know, what I could have done with a crit, I could have done in two turns with two water spouts. So here, he's going to go over the bullet punch, but I resist that. I'm not really fearing too much from it. So going to be able to go for a water spout. Hopefully going to do a decent chunk to this Machoke. 
Uh, I'm hoping th that it's not... Uh, so I, he takes a hit probably because he's running a Violite. Really, my opponent would have been better off just uh, not going for priority and instead just going for an attacking move as uh, concerning Lord Survive the first move. I take out his Machoke, and now my opponent is down to two Pokemon that are weak to Water-type moves and are slower. Here I decide, you know what, I'm not ready for this battle to be over. Um, I want to use my Lanoon. I want to be able to use it for some effect because at this point... I had known, by looking at the stats, that Lanoon was going to go up uh, to NU, and I wasn't going to be able to use it on my uh, PU team anymore. So, Rovio goes for a Roost here. Gonna get back up to full health. I just figure I can... I don't know why I did that. Uh, I, the idea here is to set up my uh, dual screens, and then go out into Lanoon so that I could hopefully get off a Belly Drum and then sweep. Uh, my opponent's going to switch out here, going to go out into free shipping and handling. I'm not sure about the, that name, but I kind of like it, um, which is his Macargo. Now I'm going to go for a U-turn, uh, hoping that this guy is special, not physical. Um, or, I don't know, which switch screen did I set up? I don't even remember. Going to go out into Fraggle here. Not quite ready to send out Lanoon. Um, my opponent's going to unfortunately get off a layer, a, a layer of toxic, not toxic, Stealth Rock, I go for the Outrage. Uh, I know that this guy has decent defense, but still, go for the Outrage. It's going to be a two-hit KO. That is kind of... That's pretty good. Um, you know, again, I, I really love the Suelos. The Suelos is definitely going to make it onto this, the next version of my PU team. Unfortunately, now both of my... Well, not both of my... I have no screens up right now because I took too long doing what I was doing. My opponent... Hey, okay, my opponent uh, is down to his last Pokemon... Uh, which is Stun Frisky. I like that name. I really do like that name. Gonna switch out here. Gonna go out into Lunu, and I figure, what the hell? Let's just try to take this thing out with a Seed Bomb. Uh, Lunu can get do something in this battle. Um, Earth Power does a lot more damage than I was expecting. I'm not gonna be able to get off a Belly Drum. Oh, I, ha I did have a Reflect Up. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, now I have no, um, no screens up. I go for a Belly Drum. Not a bell jump, I'm sorry. Seed Bomb doesn't do jack because Stun Fisk is so darn bulky. Gonna get taken out, uh, and now I'm going to go back out into my Waylord and finish this battle like I should have finished it 20 turns ago. So out now is going to be Starbuck, and just gonna go for... Oh, he's gonna go for the Protect just to try to get a little bit of health back, but I've got the Surf... Um, and I just really don't see him surviving the Surf, so even if he were at full... Well, maybe if he were at full health, but whatever. Gonna go for the Surf here, gonna take out his Stunfisk, and that is going to win me the match. So one loss, one win. Pretty good for my first showings in PU, considering you can't really play test in PU, because the only way to have PU matches is on Pokemon Showdown. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.